When it comes to buying the right products, there's a lot to look out for. That's why today, we've picked and reviewed the five best models for you. We've spent many hours researching these products, and we've ranked them by many different factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and more. You can see their prices and find out more information about these products by using the links in the description down below. To make it easier, we will include timestamps there in the description. Let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. Before we jump into the best mini PCs, first I want to talk about a few things you should look at before buying one. CPU. The most important thing when it comes to buying a mini PC is the processor. The processor is the computing unit of a computer, and the higher it clocks frequency, that means the faster it can process commands. If you want a decent mini PC, I would recommend one with at least 2 GHz or a quad-core processor. Secondly, storage. As you may know, nowadays many mini PCs use SSD instead of HDD as their storage media compared to desktop PCs. SSDs are faster because they work with a different storage method without moving parts. They're also lighter and more compact. The range of hard disk capacity nowadays is up to 3 terabytes. If you're a normal user, then 500 gigabytes or 1 terabyte is enough. Next, RAM. If you want to use more complex and computationally intensive apps, then you should opt for larger memory. Mini PCs have RAM between 2 to 16 gigabytes. If you want to play games and edit videos, you should check out between 4 to 16 gigabytes of RAM. However, if you only want to use your computer for texting and surfing the net, then 4 gigabytes of RAM will be enough. And lastly, connections. You should also know that if you want to use your mini PC for more than just surfing the net, it should have at least three ports because they're very important. An HDMI port for connecting to a TV very easily, USB 2.0 and 3.0 for connecting your mouse, keyboard and more, and a LAN port for connecting your PC to the internet. It should have some other ports that are not as important as the ones I just mentioned, but they come in handy. For instance, a memory card slot, a Bluetooth for connecting to wireless devices, and more. So without further ado, let's take a look at our top 5 picks of mini PCs in 2020. At number 5, it's the Intel NUC8. One of the best mini PCs for gaming is the Intel NUC8. This one is capable of everything you can throw at it, and when it comes to gaming, it can squeeze out respectable gaming performance thanks to its specs. Also, the design of this mini PC gives the gamer vibes, which is amazing. It measures 8.7 by 5.6 by 1.5 inches, and it weighs just 2.4 pounds. You can easily toss this one in your backpack without a problem. You'll notice that once you power it on, the Intel NUC8 shines an attractive skull-shaped light out of its top panel, which looks amazing. I should also mention that you can customize the color of it by using its LED Manager app. It's a very well-built device, and it can last you for years without a problem. This one has tons of ports that range from USB ports, including Thunderbolt 1s, 3.5mm audio jack, HDMI ports, two Ethernet ports, SD card ports, and more. It's equipped with Intel's i7-8009G with AMD Radeon RX Vega MGH hybrid chip, but other than those, you will have to buy and set them up. With the Intel NUC8, you can get totally immersive VR and seamless gaming thanks to its performance. If you want to get an amazing gaming experience, I would recommend you install the 512GB SSD and 16GB of RAM, and I can assure you, you'll get an amazing experience by running all Triple H games in 1080p with good enough frame rates. It offers robust loaded options and a tiny chassis. If you want a powerful mini gaming PC, I highly recommend the Intel NUC8 because it's one of the best when it comes to gaming. At number 4, it's the Azul Byte 3. Moving on, we have the Azul Byte 3. This one is a great budget mini PC that can easily fit in your home entertainment setup. It has a pretty simple and nice design, brilliant performance, and it also comes with great remote control. It's a great Windows PC without a fan, which is great for browsing online with your TV, for streaming videos, and more. It measures 5.6x4x1.5 by by inches, and it weighs only 0 0.8 pounds, which is amazing. When it comes to the design of this device, I've got to say, it looks pretty nice, and it can fit almost anywhere. 
The power button sits on the front of the chassis and it glows blue when the device is turned on. Also on the bottom left corner you'll notice a small IR sensor. Something I like about this mini PC is the remote control. The remote control makes it easy to use a small system without having to get up. It looks like a smart TV remote and offers dedicated buttons for accessing and navigating menus, and it has pretty convenient volume and power controls. The fanless cooling of the processor makes the system run a bit hot, but it still works pretty well. Furthermore, I want to talk about the power selection of this mini PC. On the right side, you'll notice one USB 3.0 port, a USB 2.0 port, and an SD card slot. On the other hand, on the back, you'll find two more USB ports, a 3.5mm audio jack, a USB Type-C port, a VGA output, and an HDMI output. In terms of performance, it features a powerful quad-core Intel Apollo Lake N3450 processor, 4GB of RAM, and 32GB of storage. It also is integrated with Bluetooth 4.0 and an IR receiver. If you're looking for an affordable mini PC that has a pretty solid performance and plenty of other great features, you should check out the Azul Byte 3 and see what it has to offer. At number 3, it's the Asus Chromebox 3. If you're looking for a mini PC that has an affordable price and doesn't need a lot of space in your desk and that has a pretty decent performance, you should check out what Asus has to offer with the Chromebox 3. This one is a simplified desktop computer that runs on Google's Chrome OS. One of the best things about this mini PC is that it measures just 5.8 by 5.8 by 1.6 inches and it weighs around 2 pounds, which is amazing. It's very portable, you can easily take it with you anywhere you go. It's made of high quality materials and it's very durable. The device looks pretty cool and it's very stylish thanks to its brushed metal which gives the device a pretty classy and premium look. You'll notice that the power button is placed into a cut-off corner with an LED light. When it comes to connectivity, this one comes with five USB ports, two 2.0 and the 3.1 port, one USB Type-C port that offers DisplayPort, 3.5mm audio jack, DCI-N, Ethernet port and an HDMI port. Performance-wise, this one features an Intel Celeron 3865U processor with 4GB DDR4 memory, 802.11ac Wi-Fi, Gigabit LAN and 32GB of M.2 SATA SSD. It also has integrated Intel 4K UHD graphics and it supports two monitors using DisplayPort and HDMI over Type-C compatibility. It surely is the best Chrome OS mini PC, and if you want an affordable mini PC that has a lot to offer for its price, you should definitely check this one out. At number 2, it's the HP Z2. Moving on, we have one of the most powerful mini PCs, it's the HP Z2 Mini. It's a very nice looking mini PC that packs a brilliant performance into a compact chassis that can fit anywhere. It offers the latest Xeon processors and professional level GPU options which is amazing. When it comes to the design of this one I must say it looks very cool. The chassis measures just 8.5 by 8.5 by 2.3 inches. You can easily remove the top lid of the small chassis. I should also mention that this mini PC measures 4.8 pounds which is great. It uses an external brick that measures 7.8 by 3.9 by 1 inches. You can also move the top lid of the chassis very easily. It includes a hinge-mounted cooling fan that flips out to let you reach the SODI MM slot, which is great. Moreover, this beast is equipped with a 6-core Intel Xeon E2176G processor, 32GB of memory, 1TB of 7200RBM HDD, 256GB HPZ Turbo Drive SSD, and NVIDIA Quadro P1000 ISC certified graphics. This is an absolute beast. All these specs tell us that this one manages to be pretty versatile and a powerful mini PC. If you're looking for a pretty powerful mini PC that has an attractive design, brilliant performance and many more great features, the HP Z2 Mini is the way to go. And at number one, it's the Apple Mac Mini. The best mini PC available in the market is the Apple Mac Mini. This one has a very cool looking premium design, brilliant performance and many more great features. It is expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it. The Mac Mini is a solid all-round mini PC that has a lot to offer. When it comes to the design, this one measures just 7.7 by 7.7 by 1.4 inches and it weighs just 2.6 pounds, which means it's very portable. As you may know, Apple's minimal aesthetics never disappoint. This one has a space grey anodized finish and overall the device looks very futuristic. This one has larger vents than its predecessor and it has a pretty huge fan. On the bottom you'll notice a black plastic disc that offers internal access to the Mac Mini. 
Furthermore, this one has plenty of ports, including four Thunderbolt 3 ports, one HDMI 2.0 port, and two USB 3 ports. I almost forgot to mention that this one has the latest version of Mac OS. Something else I should mention is that this one has a very solid build quality, and it can last you for years without a single problem. Performance-wise, this one is packed with an 8th generation quad-core Intel Core i3 processor with 8GB of 2666MHz DDR4, Intel UHD Graphics 630 and 256GB of SSD. It has many more great features that you should check out and see if it's the one for you. I highly recommend the Mac Mini to anyone who's looking for the best mini PC, because this one really is the best in the market without a doubt.